The land bridge theory is often cited as the most accepted theory as to why we have aboriginals in Canada. In 1845, Jules Marceau and Jules Thurman had taken fossils from the Jura Mountains and Lake Superior. They were simply supposed to catalog fossils, but when comparing the two sets of fossils they found a large number of similarities in the species. For species that evolved apart, it could only be a coincidence that they evolved in the exact same way in distinct environments. The two published their findings, and an entire scientific community became intrigued on how an animal from Europe could have ended up in North America. The most accepted theory became the land bridge theory. Early theorists indicated that water levels must have lowered at certain key regions in the world. They would simply take their pen and show the fastest possible route for an animal to have traveled and assumed that the water would have lowered there. Today, we know this is false due to the discovery of continental drift. The new theory showing all things starting on one continent and simply breaking and drifting apart became a new fad. But land bridge theory didn't just die there. Many were dedicated to the theory and sought to offer a new explanation. Many of the fossils found were less than 12,000 years old. A new land bridge theory deduced that instead of water falling, perhaps it rose. It rose, and then it froze, an ice age. It might seem far-fetched, but looking at the Arctic Ocean map, you can plainly see the distance between Russia and Alaska is not all that dissimilar from the distance between England and France. Many people and animals during this period would have traveled across the land bridge through an ice age. At the time, the theory said that this period might have lasted for 8,000 years prior and likely there was migration back and forth between the regions. May suggest that the early arrivals who were sailing and had advanced civilizations might have come earlier while later arrivals might have been more nomadic. There is no definitive answer on this. In 2008, proof of this theory was finalized. Canadian and Siberians were asked to submit their blood for DNA testing. The result was a strong match between the two. Over the years, these arrivals would spread across the Americas, forming our Aboriginal peoples. Other theories suggest that other settlers had arrived. A Chinese treasure fleet may have landed in British Columbia, and those who remained might have joined up with local natives. China is a country that has shifted in and out of isolationism for a large part of its history and has destroyed a large number of logs of their treasure fleets. Today, the diversity of American tribes are obvious. It seems clear that the land bridge carried people from all over the world to the Americas.